Welcome back to the Us Girls Basketball Podcast, where we hear from real women, real ballers, and real stories. You guys are stuck with the duo today. (laughs) (laughs) We're pumped. I'm so excited. We're bringing you guys a little bit of a twist to the podcast, and we're just having a real, like, just chill, sit down, talk. Like, this is just girl talk. We're just whatever, you know? Literally. We're going to be talking about our five essential things that we have to have in our basketball bag. Now, this does not include, you know, obviously like our uniform, like our shoes, like yes. things that we know. The like, obvious stuff. Yeah, yeah, like the obvious stuff. This is stuff that it's like, I am really mad if I forget this in my basketball bag on those yeah. four hour bus rides to a game, yep. like type of situation here. Okay, <laughs> so. We're really pumped to kind of get started. Um, there might be a few things that's like, oh yeah, like I get that. I, you know, mm-hmm. I get it. But if we name something off that you guys have to have in your bag, you need to let us know. Message us at us girls united at the Instagram. You can message us or when this podcast goes up, I want you guys in the comments to put your essentials because I want to hear because we want to know what like, gets you ready for a game, your superstitions, what needs to be in there because. Yeah. There are some crazy ones. We have been in the sports world. We went through it. We know what's up. We've had those teammates. We might even have those superstitions. We want to hear from you. Yeah, that's a whole nother episode. Let's do that. Let's mark that down. We just made an episode idea. I could go for hours. I could go for hours on the superstition one. But yeah, let us know because, I mean, to be honest with you, I might need those because I'm coaching now and we're hitting, we're going to hit, you know, season and, you know. Mm -hmm a few months it's coming up and I might need something in my bag that I forget about so I don't know (laughs) (laughs) we okay you know what Emma start us off what is one thing that you need in your basketball bag definitely um right away I'm a big music person I like to listen pump up get going so as you see I have my airpods on usually every podcast I need my headphones if my headphones are not there I don't know it's like if I can see someone else getting in their zone and I can't or whatnot, I'm just like, I'm out of my mojo. Like I need to lock in. It's like that bus ride there, or that trip or whatnot. It's boom instantly for like two hours or whatnot, depending how far it is. I got my playlist going. I'm just like, you know, doing my little nod and I'm like, throw your hands in the air. Like something like that. I don't know, but I need my headphones. That's number one for me. I love that. And I will say that that was on my list, but to kind of not be the same on this mm-hmm. one I'm gonna throw out one and I don't know if you'll expect it <laughs> the first one is a towel so I see that though. why I say this is you know in high school at least when I yeah. played like we didn't really like take showers after the games or like because uh-huh. it was like 15 20 minute bus ride you know what I'm saying like yeah. whatever and then when I got yeah. to college like obviously I would bring it you know on the like longer ones but this was me as a Mm -hmm. freshman not knowing still Mm -hmm. thinking whatever yeah (laughs) the one time even it was like a 45 to an hour minute bus ride and I was like whatever I'm fine like whatever the one time I forgot my towel on a four-hour bus ride I felt disgusting and that might be TMI but I don't care I am preparing you I agree I am preparing you right now for all you people who have a very long drive (laughs) it is the best decision my basketball bag, obviously it's a towel. Like you don't have that much room in like your bag when you have your shoes and like all of this stuff. All the stuff, yeah. I shoved that towel so down into that backpack <laughs> every time I was like, I need this towel because there was nothing better than taking a shower after yeah. and then getting on that bus and falling asleep. <laughs> I agree, I agree. And you'd be so surprised. And I have gone through several, so many teammates And most recently, like at my previous school, I just finished that we had like a bus ride three or four hours away and I was getting ready to shower. And so was one other girl. And I remember looking in that locker room, I was wrapped up in my towel and I turned around and I said, y'all are nasty because I know each and every one of you played today. And I I know each and every one of you sweated your butt off today. You're not going to make this bus stink for me. Get in the shower. I'm just saying I'm very convincing. I got the whole team to shower. And everyone was so thankful. They're like, oh, blah, blah, blah. it's worth it. Pack the towel, shampoo, conditioner. I promise you, because someone will comment and say you smell on the way home. Yeah. 
pretty much. So, yeah, we're that's saving personal you. experience. We're yeah. saving you. Bring a towel. Ultimately, yeah. Bring a towel. <laughs> All right. Number and then two. off. Yes. Oh, wait. Number two. You go first. No. Did you want to like say something else? Oh, no. I was oh, about to say I thought I cut two. you off. My bad. Oh, no, you're good. All right. Nah. Go. <laughs> go. Number two. It kind of goes off of your towel thing. Okay. Face wash. Mm. Face wash. I don't know about you. Link, thankfully, bless. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise him, Savior. I have never struggled with acne that much, except, you know, when that month, that time of the month comes around a little bit yeah. here and there. But I do not like the feeling of dry sweat on my face and just how itchy it feels and just a quick one minute wash after the game. And oh, that yeah. it, it brings me back to reality. Like I can be clean, even though I just sweated for 40 minutes. Literally. That's and my number two. Audio, I hope you guys aren't hearing this. There's a guy mowing right outside and he just came. And I love how he decides to come right as we are recording. So I'm so sorry. If you hear that, oh, um, I love it. I agree with you. I would say like the face wash thing. I would rather wash my face and not my body until I get home. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like the I've feeling, even done that. Yeah. Yeah. Like the feeling of my face just feeling better. That mm -hmm. was it. I agree with you 100% on that. My second thing is the stick or a foam roller. That was like my holy grail. Like I'm talking. Mm -hmm. I had this in high school every AAU game I had one with mm -hmm. me my senior year we actually had our own mini foam rollers like each person oh, had their so own nice. and that was like equipment that we brought to the games with us like yeah it it made me feel so much better I felt it was like part of my pre-game like mm -hmm. um ritual and like warm-up and if I didn't do that I did not feel prepared so like I always had to do it so that is like a top for me that I have to have oh. I feel that. Oh my God. Those things are so nice. And oh, it sucks because like the more it hurts, the better it is for you. When you roll out, you just got to do it. I'm telling you right now, everyone listening, roll out, stretch, mm -hmm. don't regret it because I'm out of the game, still connected, but like out of the game playing. Sometimes it's hard to touch my toes or something. I don't know. It's worth it. Stretching is important. Even yoga. I've been thinking about picking up yoga. That might be nice, but we'll get there. Probably not. I don't know. Who knows? No. Anyways, cool. I, I feel that. <laughs> yeah, we're trying. Uh, <laughs> okay, my third one, I had to think about it because like, obviously not like the shoes, the uniform and whatnot. Yeah. But me, I honestly, even though it's part of maybe what's already in the bag, I'm just going to say though, I have a lucky pair of socks mm. and I have to wear them all the time. And they are probably like the best dry fit Nike socks. I've ever had in my life and they still smell clean they still smell good I promise you that I won't lie to you but I don't know I need to have those socks that's that's probably my third thing I would have to have that in my bag and I also another like tick I kind of have like little OCD ticks I like check my bag at least two or three times Same. to make sure I have my essentials in there even if I know it's in there I'm like oh. yeah Okay. I would do the exact same. I feel you on that. Um, yeah. My third one would be a portable charger because oh, yes, those long bus rides. Yes. I mean, I did a good job of like remembering at least my charger. So mm -hmm. like during the game, I would find an outlet. Yeah. But let me tell you, not all locker rooms have a lot of outlets. So it was like a race. Like it's like whoever could plug their phone in first. <laughs> yeah. And then to be fair, you know, cause you, you gotta be a team player. Yep. I might have to take it out, you know, before the game or uh -huh. half time someone else half can time. charge it. So, you know what I mean? So if you're having those four at minimum four hour bus rides, I mean, a lot of times like I've gone eight hours, like stuff like yes. that, like portable charger is absolutely necessary necessary so definitely invest in one um it honestly doesn't even have to be a good one like just honestly. get you one like get one it will that is so you. funny that you said that though because I literally remember going in to some locker rooms and just seeing people like because coaches would just let us go in first and they wait until we change or whatnot I remember literally watching people run in there and plugging their phone up and be like oh too bad like you were slow and then I remember running in like before halftime and like you have like 30 seconds before coach walks in and we're all like 
in game mode, but we're like, hey, take your phone off the charger. Let me use it. Like, it's hurry up. So job. that is smart. If you don't want to deal with the hassle or getting caught by co- getting caught by coach in a time like that, portable charger. Literally. That's huge. Literally. That is huge. <laughs> awesome. My fourth now. We're on four, right? Yeah. Okay. I don't know about you. I'm a snacker. I have my little bag of snacks I bring. And that is from around like pretzels to like um, trail mix. Sometimes I'll bring like, I'm not really a big fruit person. I'll eat fruit. I just don't like it. I don't know why, but I'll eat it. I do enjoy it, but not often. I would bring like a banana or whatnot, but I have at least like a Ziploc baggie filled with something. Everyone would always know I had snacks, but did I share? Mm, If I liked you, maybe. I don't know. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) But um, snacks. That's my fourth. I always have that in there. Something to munch on something. Even if I'm not hungry, it'll be like a little boost during halftime. Something to just get my body some more energy. Yeah. That was my fourth one too, but I'm, I kind of thought of another one while you're talking, like, with I think it's kind of like the towel in a way, but like either a pillow or a blanket, because I say this to say, also, again, my first school that I went to college wise, Chicago, mm-hmm. cold, you know what I mean? So it's like, it's freezing. You're already wearing yes. like, because like, we actually had like our team, like, you know, travel suit, but then we mm-hmm. had jackets on top of Dang. that, but yeah. it's still cold. You know what I mean? So like wrapping up in the blanket or like, cause I'm five, three, so I'm little, I can like scrunch in the chair. And then I can like put the blanket on me and then fold up the excess like blanket and then use it as a pillow. So like, it was like, that is awesome. You know, you, so like, I Wait, think, yeah. You're five, three. Yeah. I'm five, three. You didn't know that. You no, know I was taller? I'm, only five, I'm only five, seven. I thought you were like five, six or five, five. I take that as a compliment. A lot of people, yeah. side note, a lot of people think I'm taller than I am when I meet in person because yeah. I know how to get the Instagram angles. I know how to make it. <laughs> And I know that's it. how to make me taller it. than than I really am. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is awesome. Another side side note to that to people watching this: Jay and I have actually never like met in person. So yeah. like when we do, I guess we could do like a height comparison or something like that. It won't be bad, but for you that want to know because I want to know, we'll do that. But that just proves you angles do matter. Angles matter. Angles do matter. The fact that, that I so just tricked her and we've known each other for what months months what yeah months four now. months at yeah. least yeah at least girl you could have said you were taller than me and I would have believed it I love it I love <laughs> it hey maybe I don't know that's awesome maybe we should do a podcast oh on gosh. Instagram angles if you guys want that let me know I'll teach you how to look taller okay all in the angle that is awesome <laughs> oh my gosh I love it okay so the fifth and final I actually haven't really thought of one yet because I couldn't get past like my fourth, Mm. but like if I had to choose, hmm, I definitely would say, and this is just the student in me, depending like the car ride or bus ride or whatever, I think my fifth essential item would be some type of like homework, at Mm. least a single assignment. And that's just the student in me. I know people, when they're in basketball mode, they're like basketball mode, like this is all I lock in on. But recalling like my recent traveling this past year and like the years before, I did always have some type of school work with me, whether to do before or after. And that's just me, like I said, but I would definitely do that. I feel that. I was going to say my laptop, but it wasn't for schoolwork. It's because hashtag entrepreneur life you know always always trying to work no but like for real like I felt like I always had like pictures to edit or like Mm -hmm. videos or like notes I'm like always journaling and writing so it's like either I would have like maybe something to write with like I always have a note oh that's another one I guess I always have a notebook with me so anytime Mm -hmm. like notebook pen or like uh, my computer so I can work on like stuff like that so yeah that one I, I agree with I would definitely have that was depending on the car ride and depending how tired I was because right. my first year I did not sleep once on the bus except for the way home like I wouldn't allow myself to sleep like I just Same. I'm not good at naps my sophomore year I slept it didn't matter if it was a 45 minute drive or an eight I slept okay. on that bus before the oh. game 
I was like, I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm out. Okay. I call that tea and good night. <laughs> and then another um, thing I just thought of, which yeah. is not even related. I need chapstick before my game. Why did you just read my mind? Were you gonna say that? That was my fifth one. <laughs> No way. Yeah. No way. I was literally just thinking like what I do before games and whatnot. And I remember always running back in before my chapstick to get my chapstick. Yeah. And it was my certain one. It was a Burt's Bees. It was like the Burt's Bees pomegranate. It's like Ooh. the one with like the maroon cap or whatever. Yeah. Smelled so good and tasted yeah. good. No, I did not eat it. Duh. But it was just so nice. And I hate chapped lips. But yeah, I remember doing that before every game. Yes, that is my fifth. And mine was actually not for before the game it was after because like I said like with Chicago and stuff and like tra- mm-hmm. like being in the Chicagoland conference and stuff like yeah. I'm traveling to like Wisconsin and and other schools in Chicago and in like near Notre Dame area you know what I'm saying so yeah. it's like there's just it was cold and then you're <laughs> sweating and then you yep. you know you drinking trying happen. to drink as much water but like it's just a lot so like I remember one time I for- couldn't find my chapstick and we had a very long drive home and it was absolute hell absolute oh, I was like yeah. not happy I with myself that. at all mm-hmm. and it was like the worst feeling so I say chapstick for sure that it might be like my anywhere. top it does not take yeah. a look <laughs> <laughs> she said it does um, not fun fact you can even put Carmax on your keys, ladies Look and gentlemen. See, we're, bo- we're yeah. prepared. Like, this little loop-de-loop. We're prepared. It's possible. It's possible, guys. Possible. Come on. Make it work. But I think those would be my five essentials aside from my shoes, you know, uniform and whatnot. Um, I don't know. That just gets me going. That's just me. That's my mojo before a game. Yeah. Honestly. I agree. Those are really essentials and whatever and like be on the lookout I think it'd be really fun podcast for us to do like superstitions and stuff because trust Mm -hmm. me um if you guys want to know a little bit about me I discovered that I do have OCD and it is better now but like I did not realize the severity of the OCD tendencies that I had when I was in high school and college and I thought they were superstitions and to be honest with you they were (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> my brain <laughs> but I would love to but talk about that and I'm sure like Emma you know you mentioned like oh, you had totally. some and I think that'd be like a just a fun podcast because like I laugh at it now like it's totally fine I don't mm-hmm. care but it's just like I was insane and I think you guys would get a kick out of it to be honest and yeah and definitely I feel like a lot of viewers also might have some su- superstitions of their own or like know people yeah. that do crazy things and feel free like share with us let us know message us you want to you have a great idea you want to be part of that idea please let us know we're here to make this fun yeah we like to reach out to the younger crowds bring guests on but at the end of the day basketball is fun basketball is a game quirks and everything so we just want to have fun with it and have fun with you guys which is leading me to another quick question really fast what is your favorite pair of basketball shoes because I'm going to say really quick mine were the D Rose ones I forget what edition they were but they were like red in gray and I had them like oh this is gonna sound so bad it was like 10 years ago I had them but I kept those shoes because they were the lightest and most comfiest and I thought I was fast like D-Rose and I just loved them I'm gonna have to search them and I'll send you a pic but like mine would have to be a D-Rose shoe I love them you know what's funny is is that was my least favorite (laughs) we just become enemies (laughs) and the only reason I say that is because one year we got Adidas shoes for mm-hmm. basketball, like our team, the worst tread on them possible. I don't know if it's the same one that you did. Like, I don't know if it was like, they figured out the tread, but I don't like Adidas yeah. shoes in general for like the tread. So mm-hmm. like, that's why I hated them. I liked them from like, you know, like the fit and that, but the tread yeah. threw it off. If I'm slipping, cause I'm a fast mm-hmm. athlete. So like, if mm-hmm. I can't plant and I'm tripping. Plant and go, yeah. It's game over, yeah. Over. Um, I never had like any crazy, like basketball shoes. Like, honestly, mm-hmm. mine were always like what the team got or like, you know, Same. so yeah. essentially like hyper dunks and stuff like that. But I will I did say, like those. I actually just bought two pairs of Giannis's shoes and mm-hmm. I really like them. They're light really? and I like low cut shoes. So like, I like yeah. the low cut in them. 
and they're very light and they honestly for I think they come in really cool like styles like one of mine's mm-hmm. like black and it has like almost like an animal print on the mm. Nike kind That's of cool and then the other one's yeah. just like a gray pair like I tried I mean I purposely got pairs that like match a lot of things just because of like I wanted to wear them for coaching and stuff so yeah like, of course but um yeah I would say right now I like the Giannis's but that's because that's just yeah. what I, <laughs> I feel- <laughs> another quick question did you do you follow uh Trey Young on like social media I don't but like I mean I see some of his stuff. right yeah he just like there was like a sneak peek that was dropped and leaked or whatever and then he just posted about it his new shoes come out they're called like ice tray or oh. whatever oh and they are like it's like a light blue type of shoe with some red on it. Did you and on the, that? I think I did. Yeah. Cause maybe then on the back it. of it, there's like a polar bear on it or something, little oh. animated polar bear. I think those are like the coolest shoes I've seen in a while. That's cute. not only for like the name and the player, but like they're kind of cute too. So might be my next purchase. I, don't know. I like that. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. So guys, we just loaded some questions at you. So go to um, our Instagram page and answer what's your favorite basketball shoe um and what is one of your essentials or more that you have that have to be in your basketball bag because I want to hear because if you guys have anything different than us I think that would be really cool because like I Mm -hmm. said I'm going to start making my coaching bag here soon and I got to have some essentials you know so I want to know what those are right and something someone might have we might realize we need or we just feel like we need I don't know you could end up in our bag exactly because we're here to help each other out boom right there right there that's the whole point of this so thank you for listening thank you for joining um like we said any ideas anything that you would like to see us talk about or possibly reach out to a different crowd or even try and get someone on the show or whatnot let us know we're trying to open this thing up even more than what we are doing right now trying to have fun with it so stay connected with us and we'll keep you updated too Yes, and make sure to rate and review this podcast. And like Emma said, share this podcast to anybody who just loves basketball. I mean, come on now. This is just so fun, like, talk, basketball talk, girl talk, whatever you want to call it. It's super fun. So make sure to um, do that and check us out on our Instagram page at Us Girls United. And we'll see you guys next week. Later.